Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the second Patch Tuesday security update for the ESU Extended Security Updates program of Windows 10. So if you are like me and are enrolled to get extended security updates, then you would have received this update, which is a compulsory mandatory update, which rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 9th of December. Now, if we head to our update history, this is the update, KB5071546. And because we are dealing with a mandatory update, if we just head to our search and enter Winver to get the build upgrade for Windows 10 version 22H2, the OS build is bumped up to 19045.6691 after the update has been installed. Now the Patch Tuesday updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month are security updates, first and foremost. And for Windows 10 version 22H2, there are 31 vulnerabilities that have been patched. All are listed as important. And for the first time in a very long time, there are no critical vulnerabilities that need to be patched, which is good news. So 31 vulnerabilities have been patched with a security update for Windows 10 version 22H2 on the ESU program. And then over and above the security fixes that have rolled out with KB5071546, there is a fix for PowerShell version 5.1. So if you are using PowerShell, Microsoft says that the invoke web request command now includes a confirmation prompt with a security warning of a script execution risk with Microsoft saying you can choose to continue or cancel the request and the invoke web request command basically just to sum that up quickly is a command that gets content from a web page on the internet. That's just a quick summary of what the invoke web request is all about. So guys, a minor update because obviously we are now in the ESU program. So there are no new features or changes and improvements that are rolling out in this update. Nothing like that. Just purely security updates and that fix for PowerShell version 5.1. And with the ESU program up and running now for Windows 10, obviously we don't get any optional updates now rolling out for Windows 10 towards the end of every month. Just the updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month now for the ESU program will be made available now for Windows 10. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.